creativity is a self-psychological exploration. It just brings color to your life. If I'm listening to a song, I see colors, I see movement, I see, I see how things should be. Art communicates through the senses rather than just through words. If we're given all these rich senses and we don't use them, then a part of us is kind of being shunted off into a closet and allowed to die. I think the fact that we're losing some of the focus on the arts throughout our education system and in our culture is having a huge impact. If I hadn't had arts in my education, it would have been, my life I think would have been pretty boring. Verbally, it's not easy for me to communicate with people, but using my painting, I can say things that I wouldn't normally have the um, courage to say. For a kid who, you know, ADD, up and down the walls, art was a way to connect with other people and it kind of bridged that gap. And I feel like if a lot of kids don't have that, then they really don't have much to go for. It's one of my favorite subjects in school. I would feel really upset if I didn't have an art class. We're trying to teach three-year-olds to read instead of letting them play and explore and develop their creativity. It opens up a whole other part of your brain. It's a place where they can go and just learn about their inner being. In a way, to not have that in the classroom is like taking away a method of self-exploration, you know, of a way young people can discover stuff about other people around them and about themselves. Everybody learns it differently. And I think finding that themselves, I think is the hard part. If you're just doing academia alone, it's not as well-rounded. And I think doing art breaks things apart so that you can see things in a different perspective. I think art forces kids to take themselves out of their comfort zone a little bit and have to acknowledge that there's a lot of other different kinds of people out in the world. I look at pieces from different cultures, the, the Native Americans, the Turkish tiles, Islamic art. It's nice to, to look at them, compare them, and see what they have in common. There's a lot of power behind social media. I'm being exposed to artists half across the world that work at Oxford in England. In another sense, it's really taking away from things that are right in front of you. So it's sort of a double-edged sword. It's, it's created a lot of pressure because everyone has access, but then that pressure is on to stand out. I think a lot of us stop being creative because at some point in time along the way, we get told that there's a right or wrong answer, and art doesn't outline right or wrong answers, and I think that scares people. Whenever I started, I, I couldn't draw. You just, you have to be patient, you have to just keep working. You have to get over the fact that it's not easy. If you sit around and tell yourself how hard it's going to be, it's never going to get done. I'll tell you what, after working 10 hours, it's hard to get into it, but I do every single day. Part of me doesn't want to go there and do it. I've got all the other things pulling at me. But then when I get into the studio and force myself to maybe do 15 minutes of painting, then it's like the other part of my brain takes over. And it's, you're just in the moment. My mind's always going. And so this was, for me, it's very peaceful. It was really restful. It's relaxing to just uh, sit by the wheel and feel the, the, the clay in your hands. A lot of the pieces that I do are more directed towards issues that need to be addressed. And so I create for those reasons. Artists have always defined the culture. Creative minds are the ones that are going to solve the world's problems. And those are all people who were encouraged by their parents and teachers to keep working at it.